Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at a survey of gardeners who are asked if they preferred perennials or annuals. These are our results right here out of the 454, 159 chose annuals, 209, 295 chose perennials. And we're asked if 5,448 gardeners were choosing, would, how many more would prefer perennials than would prefer annuals? So what we have to do is we have to find the percentage or the proportion of these gardeners that wanted to do annuals, we can multiply that percentage by this, assuming that they're the same, because we're saying according to these results, we multiply that proportion by 5,448, and that'll give us our value of out of those 5,000, how many would choose annuals, how many would choose perennials, and then if we're trying to find how many more, we can find the difference between them. So 159, over 454 is going to be the percentage, technically the proportion, of the gardeners who would prefer annuals over perennials because this is the number of annuals divided by the total number of gardeners. So this is going to be roughly 35%. You don't have to find the exact amount because what we're going to do, like you said, we're going to multiply this 35%-ish by 5,448. If you do this in a calculator, obviously not asking you to do this by hand, it's going to give you 1908. So out of those 5,448, 1,908 would prefer annuals. Now you can do the same with 295, plugging that into a similar equation, multiplying, whatever. Or you can just say, if they don't prefer annuals, they have to prefer perennials. So the number of perennial favors is going to be 5,448 minus 1908. So the total minus the annuals is everyone that's left is just going to be perennials. And we find out that that is 3540. Now, if we're looking at how many more would prefer perennials than would prefer annuals, that's just the, the difference between these two. So we have 3540 minus 1908. It's going to give us 1632. So 1632. It's going to be our answer, which is B. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.